Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 11th, 2023. Well, yesterday we had those bulls continuing to squeeze, trying to get some buying going on, but they did it on extremely low volume. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, my goodness, um, yesterday was an interesting day. We continue here in the Dow showing lots of potential bullishness, trying really, really hard to inspire buyers to step in and get something going here. But unfortunately, we did it on volume that was much less, substantially less, than the pre-market volume that we saw heading into the new year and heading into Christmas. Extremely light volume. So I would really wanna suggest some caution here. Now what's making people be this cautious? Well, Goldman Sachs put out a report on Monday suggest, um, showing that there are actually more people pushing money right now into um, money market funds to avoid this uncertainty ahead than there was at the depths of the 2020 pandemic. So kind of an in, interesting um, setup here for um, the rest of this week with a lot of caution, a lot of uncertainty ahead. Now, having said that, if we take a look at the Dow, I have to say this right now, this is a bullish pattern because what we're looking at here is we broke out of this wound up really tight consolidation, but unfortunately, we really haven't resolved anything yet. We popped up here, pulled back, rested. We've seen all of this volatility. We've got tremendous price resistance above in the chart yet to deal with. And we're trying to figure out what do we do ahead of this big CPI report coming out. And not only that, the beginning of earnings with several big banks reporting on uh, Friday and the uncertainty that is surrounding that. As a matter of fact, this morning, the World Bank put out a new economic forecast um, that shows a worldwide growth of only 1.7%, which would be the weakest growth rate in more than three decades um, of, of the overall market, uh, world market. And unfortunately, it's that uncertainty that's got people going, hmm, maybe I ought to just protect my capital instead of getting involved in this. So I wanna caution everyone to be really, really careful here because um, if you kind of take a look at this period of time right in here, what we have done is we have just, it's like a spring and we have just wound this spring really tight with emotion. And the question is, over the next couple of days, will it snap this way or will it snap this way? And I think it will likely snap with tremendous um, price move, tremendous volatility, but it could really just rip your head off in either direction. So be really careful how you trade ahead of this and, and, and realize that this low volume is significant enough that I think there's just a, so many people not knowing what to do. And if you get involved in trading because you're bored, you just want to do something, or you're just wanting to really speculate that you know what the market is going to do next, I would suggest that you think about that carefully and not put too much risk on that trading. At least that's going to be my plan. And it's perfectly fine to disagree with me and think, you know, that Campbell guy is out of his out of his ever loving mind. But that's kind of where I'm going to be because I see a tremendously dangerous market condition here that could, doesn't matter if you're long or short, it could really take your head off. Now, if we take a look in here today, if the bulls happen to find inspiration here in the Dow and we can continue to squeeze to the upside here, well, you'll notice right in here, there is a bit of a price resistance level right underneath this price action and right over the top of this price action and right underneath that price action. So there is a little bit of a resistance area there in the chart. And if we stretch that on over here, 
oh my goodness, we have a big area of resistance in this chart. So keep in mind that we could push on up, we could test those resistance levels and maybe even push through. And if we do push through, how far do we go? Well, probably not that much higher, maybe up in here. Now, unfortunately, those are big point moves for the Dow. That would be a several hundred point move in the Dow. And then we're heading into a CPI report. And if we all remember what happened on the last CPI report, we gapped up 800 points and then ripped everybody's head off, taking it all the way back down on that number. So just be really, really careful here, everyone. Now, if we take a look at our SPY, SPY, not nearly as bullish as the Dow, because in the SPY, we continue to maintain this overall downtrending bear market condition on the SPY. That being said, we're trying hard to hold this higher low. We're trying to show some bullishness here in the market and we can just see that evidence that the market really wants to go up. It wants to go up so bad. But the question is, will we have the data that supports that when we roll into these earnings? So while I believe that inflation is coming down, and we could see a good CPI report, that doesn't, uh, that doesn't help us when we hit those big bank earnings if they happen to be disappointing. So watch that carefully. And if those bulls find um, inspiration today and push on higher, will you notice that big wick that we had on Monday sticking up here and that huge resistance that we see in the chart on the SPY is going to be our resistance area and if we were to push on through there well then um, there is quite a bit of movement that we could see here up above into some of that um, extra resistance in the chart we will want to um, take note that if we take a look at our um, uh, moving averages here in the chart we're dancing around that 50-day moving average here trying to hold it but keeping in mind there's so much price and technical resistance in the chart and with the uncertainty that we have ahead boy anything is possible so make sure you're planning your trading very very carefully if those bears find inspiration here well maybe a push back down here to this support level um, in the chart we'll watch for that and if that were to fail right on back down into here if we take a look at our qqq the weakest of our indexes out there um, where we continue to show a lot of overall bearishness our technicals in the chart still very bearish now we could stretch on up here possibly and test that 50-day moving average you'll notice that 50-day moving average is flattened out our 200-day moving average is still declining in these charts um, so qqq is not a bullish chart still overall in a bearish down trend here in the market so looking at this if we can find inspiration here today on the bulls once again maybe testing that wick up here on monday um, will run into some price resistance as you can see over here if we can push through that it'd be a pretty big move um, but we could push up into here test these resistance levels across here in the chart that would break that 50-day moving average, but could also set up that potential big reversal in the market. Now, kind of keep that in mind that if the bears find inspiration, a retest down in here wouldn't be at all out of the question. If we push down through there, maybe just a little bit lower, we catch some of these areas right in here for that support in the QQQ. Lots of uncertainty out there. If we take a look at IWM, now, IWM has been one of the stronger of the indexes and we've been seeing some pretty good movement um, here in IWM, but unfortunately we haven't resolved our technical problems here. Notice that we have this short-term downtrend. We may be pressing the resistance level of that short-term downtrend. And if we look over the longer term, well, unfortunately, that longer term is still in a bear market condition as well and we want to keep that in mind now looking in here on the day if we press back up into uh, this move to um, into this downtrend today we're also going to be pressing into some fairly significant price resistance in the chart and if i draw a straight line all the way across there you can see we've got some work here to do to break through there i'm not saying it can't be done but we certainly want to be paying attention to 
that resistance in the chart. Now, if those bears um, find inspiration, well, then looking back down into some of these levels here for price support, if those bulls find inspiration, well, they're just going to have to find a way to break through that um, area here in the chart. And if they can, well, obviously there's a lot of congestion and resistance above that um, that we will have to deal with um, in these charts. If we look at the technicals here on IWM, you'll also want to notice we've got a 50 and 200 day moving average coming together. So that's creating that potential moving average squeeze pressure back to the downside that we'll want to be watching for. Um, whether or not they can pump right on through that, well, that's a question that is yet to be answered. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. And if we look at our economic calendar, we're going to see that we don't have a whole lot for the market to get too excited about. We've got um, the mortgage applications this morning. We see refinance coming back up again just a little bit um, with um, the um, rates coming down. But this has been so bearish for so long and our housing prices are falling, our housing sales are, are uh, coming down. So I'm not sure that's going to be enough to really inspire a whole lot of big upside move here. We've got Atlanta's business fed um, inflation expectations. And again, it's not a market moving report, but when there's not much to go on, maybe we could get a little bit of um, inspiration out of that, either bullish or bearishly. We're going to have petroleum status. Of course, well, that's something to be paying attention to. If our oil prices start coming back up, that's inflationary and something we'd have to worry about if they continue to decline. Well, then uh, that helps us out on that inflation front. So watch that close. Probably the most notable after that is going to be the 10 year note auction here um, at 1 p.m. Eastern today. So keep an eye on that. But that's a pretty light day considering the fact that what we're heading into before the market open is a CPI report. So remember that number comes out before the market open along with jobless claims or anything we can do about it. Whatever happens is going to happen to us before the market opens. And unfortunately we get through that and then we're going to hit um, our big earnings kickoff for um, the year and we're going to have several big banks reporting. So today we only have one confirmed report on um, on the uh, economic calendar and that is KBH and KBH will be reporting after the bell today. So kind of keep an eye on that. That's the only one that's actually confirmed for today. Tomorrow is also, um, well, we've got a little bit more going on in there tomorrow um, to be paying attention to. And then of course, Friday is when we hit, um, we're going to hit um, um, Bank of America, we're going to have BK, we're going to have BLK, we're going to have Citibank, we're going to have Delta, we're going to have JP Morgan, we're going to have um, United Health, we're going to have Wells Fargo, all hitting before the bell on Friday. So you can expect some substantial volatility going into this weekend. And um, I just think anything is possible. We could take off huge to the upside. We could just tear it up to the downside if these numbers disappoint. So plan your trading very, very careful and be conscious of the danger that might be here with the um, potential of all of this emotion spilling out onto the market all at the same time. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX has been continuing to act very oddly here in the market. There's no fear in this market, but I think one of the reasons we're registering no fear in the market is kind of what Goldman Sachs told us is everybody's, everybody's on the sidelines and what volume is telling us. Everybody is just hedging their bets and got their hands in their pockets, clinging tightly to that cash, um, trying to protect it. Be 
for the uncertainty that's out here in the market and that's making that fear um, we get an upside move and the fear drops like crazy we get we get a downside move and it barely moves here in the chart so um, interesting thing but I have to give this to the bulls because they did break this upside um, little trend here on the VIX so there is a a, a lot of pent-up energy um, showing up in here and that would be the resistance above and who knows maybe maybe everything is great and um, I'm worried about nothing could be but I'm going to still have my money because I'm going to be protecting my money heading into this event um, because I think it could be extremely dangerous. Let's take a look at our T2122. Our T2122 remains elevated, but um, um, not so much that we should just be running for the door. But you can see that we're up here in the bearish reversal zone. In this morning's pop, we're going to push a little bit higher here um, into that potential bearish reversal zone. So one of the things we know about T2122 is we can linger up here. And I suspect there, there's a really good chance we could linger because we just have, it seems as if the institutions are really trying to press everyone into being convinced that they should be buying ahead of these events and um, trying to catch them off guard on what comes next. So I have absolutely no um, expectation here that we couldn't go higher um, here on the day and press this on up. But I also um, understand very clearly that with the events coming here, we're kind of pressed up here to the top side of this range. And if those data points come in not so good, well, then we could see this really rip back to the downside quickly. So make sure you're prepared and make sure you have a plan to protect yourself and your capital could be a lot of volatility coming our way. And then if we take a look at our T2108, well, T2108 remained bullish yesterday. And I got to give this credit to the bulls in here. They're holding up despite the uncertainty out here in the market. There is a tremendous amount of desire apparently to push uh, to the upside, expecting some very good things out of these earnings that I don't know. I just don't. I just don't think they're going to be that great. But we'll see. Uh, with all the warnings and things that we've had out there, I would be a little bit careful and cautious, thinking that we're just going to take off, and and and, um, and not see some pretty ugly whipsaws and overnight reversals in the coming weeks. If we look across here, we've got a resistance area in the chart. Um, but we're pressing up here, 58, 59% of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average. So that's not bearish. Um, um, and it's not overbaked to the upside either. So keep a close eye on that. And then T2107, T2107, also bullish. We continue to press to the upside. This has been bullish all along. We held support, continuing to push on up. Um, there is some energy to buy, buy, buy ahead of this very dangerous period of time in the market so um, get her done if that's your game but it is certainly not mine I'm going to skip past T2101 just because the volume is so low I don't think it's giving us any idea of momentum because it's hard to have momentum in the market when we don't see volume pushing that moment momentum so let's take a look at some stocks that um could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could please continue to do me that favor and click those thumbs up buttons leave that brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow i want to say thank you so much to everyone who does do that and um, i want to um, thank everyone who has taken the time as well to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link you guys are truly truly awesome thank you so much let's take a look at some of these charts that could be setting up and remember guys they're not recommendations to buy or sell any security you're going to have to do your own due diligence and be very very careful um, in these markets i expect some big price moves over the next um, um, couple of days here as we head into the weekend and that uncertainty is going to extend 
probably into the next couple of weeks of trading as we continue on with big banks and then we start hitting the big tech reports and those big tech reports i just think uh, for what we've been seeing in the market and what we're being uh, being seen um, in the qqq that we could have a very difficult time um, as we move some of the through some of those big tech reports so that being said um, we're going to have to be careful on how we trade and if we look at some stocks that are looking pretty good they're the old boring companies out there that are holding up really really well AT&T got an upgrade the other day and as you can see holding up in a bullish pattern breaking through here hanging in there now I know it's boring it's not a real fast mover but it's a good safe place at the moment to maybe protect some of your capital if you need to have money at risk this might be a place to do it it's a good dividend payer as well it might be something to be paying attention to um, KHC KHC another one of those old boring companies but doggone it old boring is looking pretty good here um, whoops that changed my tool on me um, big upside move coming here um, in the market you can see we're trying to pop up here today nice upside trend going on we will want to keep in mind of all this price resistance over here in the chart but that being said hey we have a good upside move going on here uh, take a look at um, uh, Schmuckers um, Schmuckers pulled back the last couple of days but Schmuckers another nice upside trend here that we can continue to see uh, possibly moving up that is that uncertainty I think in the market that's continuing to push these um, old boring dividend payers to the upside people looking for some protection um, in the market so keep an eye on a stock like SJM if you're looking for some short trades boy I just think there's a lot of them um, that are potentially setting up in the NASDAQ area um, of the market take a look at some of the pain that we have here in um, Google uh, when was the last time you thought you might have an opportunity to buy Google you know um, sub 100 um, and although we're trying to hold this um, higher low in here um, I think if we turn bearish here remember we're still in an overall downtrend long-term downtrend is still in play um, I think any rally back up sets up an opportunity potentially to short in Google. I see the same thing in stocks like Microsoft. This rally back here into Microsoft seems to, uh, as we press into resistance, seems to set up an opportunity for another downside move. There's a lot of these out there looking like that. Take a look at um, NVIDIA. Although we're rallying back up here the last few days, um, in, in, in NVIDIA, we've certainly still got the big downside trend going on here in the chart. And as we rally into these price resistance levels in the chart, I would be watching for that potential opportunity for a short to set up here. So there's a lot of these remembering that we um, made this lower low. So um, a lower high over here would um, indicate the resumption of downtrend. So watch carefully for those charts. And there's quite a few out there. Um, once again, I'm going to just echo this one more time. And I don't mean to be the guy that, you know, the chicken little, the sky is falling because I don't think that's true. But what I do think is there's tremendous danger coming up here on Thursday and Friday that could really change the market substantially in a big upside move or a big downside move. And unfortunately, I think it's a, like a 50-50 chance it goes either direction. So make sure you're prepared for that. I would recommend being pretty light in your account going into these events. Don't over trade. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thanks so much for being here. Truly appreciate it. And I'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning for that CPI report. Take care, everyone.